Is the hand quicker than the eye? Well, probably. But is the eye quicker than the unblinking lens capturing footage at 360 frames per second? Now, I've shot a series of tricks in slow motion. We're talking 12 times slower than real time. We're going to be seeing if this sleight of hands still works by screening it to an online audience. Right now, we're going to start with the first one. And the first one is just a simple coin trick that I like doing most times. There it is. Very simple, straightforward. Small coins becomes a big coin. And now we go and see the slow motion. Okay, so you can see the small coin. Let's see. Okay, okay. So first trick, I think we can definitely say that we didn't see anything. So the magician was faster than the eyes of the lens. Second video, it's just a quick card trick. Two of spades, becoming the queen of spades. Completely examinable. Let's go see the slow motion of it. So why did I do this trick particularly with cards? Because magicians know the technique, so they know why I would do it. Anyway, let's skip to where I do the actual motion. Okay, so two of spades, very curious. Two of spades. Okay, so even on this one here, the magician was faster than the unblinking eyes of the lens. Third video, just a quick retention with a big coin. Completely vanishes, and of course, it's not even in the other hand. Now, if we go ahead and see the slow motion of this, let's go ahead and see it. One minute 25, pretty long. All right, this is where the motion happens. Okay, so here you can slightly see what is going on. So you can see the coin going behind my other hand. Thing is, will we see whenever I... Okay, let's see. So the coin, you could see it go in the other hand. But the good thing is, in the slow motion, you cannot see the coin, you know, when I do the move to make the coin disappear out of my other hand as well, where I, you know, when I did the first move, for example. So yeah, this one's fine as well. Let's go ahead on the fourth one. Fourth one, I decided to do just a very quick trick. The cane with a blue pom-pom that becomes red. Let's go ahead and see the slow-mo of this. Slow-mo of this. Very quick and easy. Let's see. I'm very curious if you can see anything because this happens. You can't even see it whenever you do it. Like, okay. Okay, so even on the pom pom trick, you do not see a single thing, which is very good. So, yeah. So we're three to four, three to four so far. Three to four. Let's go ahead and go on the fifth one. Fifth one is. What is this? Okay, a PN card by Julio Montoro. So nothing, then you close it up, you turn it over, you turn it around, and you have a car, just like so. Beautiful trick, absolutely love it. I remember buying this in Blackpool. You could probably see it in the vlog I did on Blackpool, which is down below. Slow motion of this, let's see. Two minutes 24 for the whole video, but that's, exaggerated okay so whenever I show the flaps can you see something all right let's see if you can see something whenever I do the flaps oh I think I slightly see no okay nothing yep then you close it you turn it, and then the car appears. So we're four, four to five, four to five. We only messed up once so far, at least the camera was faster than the actual sleight of hand. And yeah, let's see. 
go on to the sixth trick. Sixth, sixth, sixth. Sixth trick is this very nice trick that is the trident gum that becomes a Hershey's bar. And then you can also examine it back. Yeah, lovely trick, absolutely amazing trick. And I feel like you can you can see how this one works. I feel like you can see it because I know how it works and I don't know. I just have a feeling. Let's go ahead and see the motion whenever I go for it. So I close the packet of gum. And three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't really see how I did it, but again, you can, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I probably give it to the camera for this one. I probably give it to the camera. So the sleight of hand was, you know, the camera was better than the sleight of hand in this case, for example, because you can see the motion of when the actual trick opens up and becomes the bar. Yeah, that I saw. So, yeah, we are, let's see, we are one, two, three, four, five, six. We are four to six at the moment, four to six. Pretty sure we only have like two tricks left anyway. Let's go ahead and see. We have the iPhone trick, the disappearing iPhone. It cheese and then it disappears and iPhone case is completely examinable. Again, I absolutely love this trick. It, it Every time I do it on TikTok or anything, it gets me viral, so I love it. Okay, let's go. Cheese, beautiful. And let's see if you can see it. Of course, to all the magicians watching, you're probably looking at where I am looking at the moment, if you can see it. Okay, no, since I am shaking the actual cover or the phone case, you do not see anything, absolutely anything, which is good. So the point of show, you know, shaking the phone case, I feel like it's really important because again, you don't see how the trick works. And if I stood still with the iPhone and made it disappear, you definitely would have seen it in slow motion how it worked. So yeah. We are uh, four, five to seven, five to seven so far. Let's go on the last trick we have right here. And yeah, the paddle, the paddle, the paddle. Okay, so nothing. And then a coin appears on one side and the coin appears on the other side. Again, paddle, pretty simple. Magicians know why I chose this trick probably because again, if you mess this up, you know, if you can see the, if the camera sees you doing a specific movement, they will probably understand what is going on with the trick. Let's see the paddle here. Let's go. Okay, so you can't see much. Let's go. Yep, keep it going. Okay, I go to grab air. Then here is me throwing. This, this is actually really clean. I'm very surprised that my sleight of hand is better than a slow motion camera, which is crazy for me. Okay, so one side, let's see if I mess it up whenever I go to show the second side. There it is. Ooh, yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. So we are six and eight, meaning the camera, the slow motion camera was faster than my sleight of hand. And six times my sleight of hand was faster than the slow motion camera, which remember is 12 times slower than real time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash it. Anyway, I'm just joking. No, this is a fake deck. Anyway, because, you know, slow motion video. Slow anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by comment down below. And if you caught something, that I didn't catch in the first place, and you think that my sleight of hand was slower than the camera lens, let me know. Anyway, thank you very much for the love you are showing to my channel. I see that the subscribers are going up, the views are going up, the watch times going up, the comments, the likes, everything. But anyway, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Send this video to somebody. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the month, and we're almost there. We're only like 30 subscribers. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and other than that, peace out.